Hi, this is Bryce Pico of Life Abundant Ministries. I saw on the news today that the National Spelling Bee was won by a young man from Texas who correctly spelled the word koinonia, which is a Greek word for communion, fellowship, and partnership. In 1 Corinthians 1.9, Paul wrote to the church at Corinth saying that God had called them into fellowship with his son Jesus Christ. God is our Father through Jesus Christ, and he is our Lord, King, and the firstborn of the household of faith. When we accept him as Lord, we become adopted brothers and sisters along with him. That means that we are part of his family. Now he came to earth and lived as a man, but he's also the son of God. That means that God can identify with us. No matter what we're going through, he lived it. There is no temptation that we go through that he didn't go through himself. And there is nothing that he suffered that is outside of our realm of understanding. No matter how bad you think you got it, Jesus took that with him before he went to the cross and when he went to the grave. And he took that with him and left it in hell with the devil to burn forever. So remember this today. When people come at you with negativity or you feel like you're under attack or you feel like you're struggling, Jesus went through it all first. And he became poor so you could become rich. There's nothing you're going through right now that he doesn't have the grace to give you that help you overcome it. Receive the fellowship of Jesus Christ today by making him Lord. Receive the Holy Spirit so he can tell you of things to come, give you the wisdom to overcome it, and conquer all the things that the devil's tried to set before you. That way you can reign with Jesus Christ in heavenly places and you can live the abundant life that he set aside for you. Thanks for listening and have a great day.